Hey everybody and welcome to the final day of the Rising Sun previews. Now I haven't actually seen what exactly Donald X is going to post, so I don't know how he's going to refer to today, but as far as I can tell, the final day, there are no more major themes to show, so it is essentially just a grab bag of other cards and landscapes in the set. Um, very wacky ones today, I'll be showing you some of those. So the first new card is another Omen, Kitsune, plus one sun, choose two different options, plus two coins, plus two actions, each other player gains a curse, gain a silver. So much like the card Pawn from Intrigue, you know, you're given four things and you get to pick two of them. Uh, this is an attack card, it does junk your opponent. Uh, and it is also, it can be a village as well, or more like an necropolis. Then we have a riverboat. At the start of your next turn, play the set aside card, leaving it there. Set up, set aside an unused non-duration action card, costing five. And in this game, it has picked Souk as our choice. Now, Souk, this is only, you can't get the on-gain benefit, um, and it's only going to be played at the start of the turn. So a little bit weird um, to have Souk as your riverboat because the riverboat can only pick, you know, it only plays the card at the start of the turn, but maybe we get to take use of that. Uh, we shall see. And for our landscapes, well, we have the prophecy Divine Wind. When you remove the last sun, remove all kingdom card piles from the supply and set up 10 new random piles. So that refers to these 10 cards here. Um, all of the other cards, the referred to cards, you know, your, your basic supply piles, all of the landscapes, they all stay, but we effectively just replace all of these with 10 new piles. So you're sort of having to ask yourself when the game changes, or if you want to think, sorry, the value of like Divine Wind, it's like, you know, how does the current kingdom compare to sort of the average expected kingdom, right? Like, you know, when when it changes and you get new cards, is it going to be better or worse? You know, what sort of things do you might want to prepare for? You obviously, you have no idea. It is always random. You don't choose in advance. You have absolutely no clue what's going to show up. Um, so you can't really build expecting anything. Um, so really, really interesting, I think. Anyway, let's um, let me just quickly check. Was there anything else on this screen? Uh, Patrician Emporium, which I think was in one of the other days uh, previews, and the six rewards from Joust, which is from the uh, Cornucopia Second Edition. Right, let's get started. So, on a three, a riverboat isn't terrible, I guess, like getting the two coins on a future turn. Um, but I'd really want to hit Kitsune, and I think I'm just going to be better off with a silver. Um, but on a four, Maelstrom is no good. So actually, this is where... Actually, I will go for the riverboat, I suppose. Uh, so this is bad, so this means we will probably actually miss five, so maybe that was poor. Um, but it's a lot better this turn for me to Maelstrom. There we go. Um, hard AI did get to trash an estate by me doing that. Um, but I'm sort of basically guaranteed at this point to now be able to get Kitsune on the next turn. Um, I'm not sure it's worth digging down Patricians for Emporiums. I don't know how good that's going to be. And the Emporiums might disappear before we actually get the chance. Um, but I'm here to show off the new cards, so let's just buy another riverboat. So here, the Sug played at the start of the turn. It basically gave me two coins and a buy next turn. I'm definitely picking up the Kitsune. I don't need another riverboat. I will actually just get a Patrician at this point. I don't really want another silver. There is currently no way to trash. It would be really nice to have some way to trash, but that's just not available to us. Well, I guess we are going to uncover the Emporiums after all. So my opponent played Maelstrom. Now, this is really nice for me, actually, because I can trash an estate. And then the Souk gives me an extra coin because I got Maelstromed. And I happen to draw the Kitsune as well. Well, I'm going to curse my opponent and get two actions so I can play this riverboat. And I've got seven and two. 
So Divine Wind is rapidly approaching. I need to think about what I would really like um, for the next um, board. And honestly, I think if I'm like the only person with a joust, um, I could get them all for free. It would be really nice to see um, if that's a thing that I can manage. I've got seven and two here. Um, Emporium is not that useful. You know what? I could maelstrom a bunch of coppers. There you go. I know my opponent didn't play a riverboat, so they weren't going to get the bonus. I think Divine Wind has uh, it's got two left. I'll play the Joust. Just the Patrician. I think my Kitsune is down there. Well, that's okay. I did get another five. Is there something else I would like? I don't think I need another Joust. Maybe a Cobbler would be nice for the next round. I don't get points picking up Emporium. A Barge might also be nice, but I don't know if I'm actually going to get a village. I think some sort of workshop would actually be quite nice. So let's do that. Ah, and I get to Maelstrom with my Souk in ready to play, so I do get an extra coin again. Thank you, Hard AI. Now, the person who triggers Divine Wind, of course, gets my first look at the new cards. Okay, I did draw another terminal, so two actions and curse. I'm gonna play that. Hit five again. Um, Highwayman is fine. Uh, actually, I have five in cards in play. I can get Emporium, get two points. Play the Cobbler, let's see. And there we go, the board has changed. So, after the Hard Eyes finish their turn, let's see what the new kingdom is. So, we've got the Fort's Pile, Shantytown, Shop, Lurker, Druid, we'll take a look at its boons in a moment. Trading post, so we have got actually good, you know, alternative trashing. Did we get a village? Yes, we got Shanty Town as a village. This is the only village that's not that good. We have got Archive as non terminal draw, which isn't bad, I suppose, um, especially if you've not got that many villages and so on. Mastermind is also a village. Come to think of it, actually, that might be pretty good here. Uh, and maybe Druid does something nice for us as well. Sorry, I did want to. Uh... The druid boons are, oops, well, I clicked. This does not look correct to me. Um, something is very wrong with this screen. Um, they seem to disappear into the top corner. I believe that was a bug. Oh, well, um, there's a bug. I'm sure there's going to be loads of bugs with Divine Wind on its first one. Um, here's the actual boons. Um, I'll have to report that. And let's see. So, workshop, the top card of your deck. Plus one card at the end of this turn. Not that impressed by Druid, to be honest. Uh, Lurker can get us Masterminds easily. That's quite nice. Uh, I don't want to gain a card to my hand if I can play Riverboat. Um, because gaining a card to my hand is going to make the Souk a bit worse. Um, but having a... Um, having a... Workshop is not that great here. Although I would like, like Garrisons and all. It didn't turn out to be brilliant. Um, I will get a shanty town because I may end up being able to draw with it. And I was the only person to get a joust, so all the rewards are mine. Um, I will draw with this. There we go. Um, because I'm the only person with a joust, I would actually like to just get one province while I hit eight. Um, hopefully I can pair those up, but I do need to get my draw a bit better. Stuff like Archive would be really nice here. Actually, let's see. Do the Cobbler. So the Cobbler sort of didn't really work out in the end, but you know, it was a guess. Aha! I shall Maelstrom three curses. Uh, I shall buy nothing, for I have no money left. I'll play the Cobbler anyway, but, you know, what do I want to do with the Cobbler? I guess... I guess I could go for a shop, I suppose. Aha, and it gets to play the joust. And maybe House Carl would be best right now. Let's see. I got a village with Kitsune, and then I can play Riverboat, and then I'm run out of draw. So I wonder if I should House Carl for more draw. Maybe I don't want to trigger this shuffle, in which case I only want to draw up to two more, in which case maybe. Corsair will be best. Um, and I can just do two cards, two actions. 
Okay, well, I can do two coins and give out the last curse and then riverboat and I just won't play that. I've hit eight again. I should probably build properly, but do I even have any plus buy? Yes, I've got riverboat. Gives me plus buy at the start of the turn. Um, I feel like a province too early. What, what am I building to here? I don't feel like actually there's that brilliant payload on this board. Like, do I really want Mastermind? What am I going to do with it? Like, even Idol's not very good. The curses are gone. I'm just going to take the province. The payload, I suppose, are the rewards. That's the that's the payload here. Um, two actions and a coin. Riverboat. Can I hit the province? No, I did not. That's fine. I'll hit seven. Maybe Mastermind and Druid is okay. Do I want like a tent and cover the garrisons? I guess it's not that good. Um, I could get... You know what I could do? I could trash three more cards. Now my opponent did have, I believe, a riverboat in play, so they're going to get an extra coin, but that's fine. Um, how good is Lurker? Lurker's not that brilliant here, neither is Druid. Uh, this is working this time. Interesting. I wonder why it didn't work last time. Uh, I don't want it. It's fine. I don't want to deliberate for too long. This is meant to be just a, a fun little preview video. Uh, two cards, two actions. I guess I'm triggering that shuffle. There we go, I can shop the joust. Province. Uh, maybe House Carl isn't that brilliant. Um, huge Turnip might be nice, but I think Renown is going to be exceptional here. Demes needs more points. I'm not worried about points yet. I can get that later. Let's get the Renown. Renown is pretty much usually always very good. I guess Shantytown was just dead again. That's fine. We can get a province, and I think we can do with another shop or two. I think that's fine. Yeah, well, cobbler, why not? The cobbler didn't really work out brilliantly, but that's fine. Uh, I did not want a cobbler first. Oh no, sorry, I did river. I did play my suit first. I guess at this point you can tunnel. When am I discarding cards to the tunnel? I don't think I am. Um. I think I could probably use another shanty town. I bet I can get it to work. Mm. Should I take that as a village? There we go. I have got another province. I think I can house Carl this time just fine. Um, that means it's okay to not draw with that. Emporium mm. um, is fine. So you can chop the Kishini. I'm going to get two coins. Uh, maybe I will just gain a silver. Um, and then I might as well house Carl now, draw everything. Shanty Town, I will shop. Renown, and I will shop. I will play the river boat instead then. And I have 14. I'm going to pick up two of those. And I might as well tunnel. Meanwhile, I haven't really been paying attention to what hard AI is doing, but they don't seem to be doing so well. I guess their deck wasn't set up. And, you know, it's really hard to come back from having your opponent be able to get every reward at their leisure. Like, that's, that's a really hard position to come back from. So, let's play the Emporium. Aha, we even get to do this. Um, Coronet, maybe? Demesne is fine. Let's just do that. And two coins, and I suppose gain the silver again. Province again, we'll take an estate. <laughs> Hardy Eyes deck's not terrible, but it does seem to be. It's missing some good um, payloads. Now, it's interesting, the monument they've got is actually getting them quite a lot of points. Um, that's not bad for them, but uh, yeah, it's, um, they they didn't get quite what they needed, so I don't get the house, Carl. That is fine. 
We have five. I didn't even have enough for province. Um, I mean, what do I do? I'd like to end the game, but there's nothing I can do that ends it fairly quickly. So let's just get a gold. Let's, let's try and end the game by maximizing the odds of hitting province. I think that's the best thing to do here. Uh, we don't need to play around for ma maximum points. Like, hard AI is not realistically catching up unless they're able to uh, mastermind a bunch of monuments but they've ended the game anyway so there we go that was a fairly decisive victory um for uh, the game with divine wind oh uh, yeah i really really like divine wind i mean it is let's be honest it is fairly random but you know there is strategy on how to play for the unknown you know and i feel like my deck did a lot better for that and that was really why the end game was so decisive anyway thank you for watching this one and i will see you at the next kingdom okay and welcome back here is a kingdom number two so our new a kingdom card here is rice Plus one buy, plus one coin per different type among cards you have in play. So this is a scaling treasure. It does cost seven. It's very expensive. Uh, when we look at the types, it's a treasure. Of course, we've got a bunch of, bunch of action cards. We also have fate as another type. So there's three, treasure, action, and fate. Um, but we also have a lucky coin on fool, and that is heirloom. So we actually have a fourth type. And down here is Will-O-Wisp with Spirit, that is a fifth type, and we might be able to get that from Fool. So it seems like it's a good idea, possibly, if we want to if we want to play a strategy that maximises the value of Rice, getting a Fool at some point would be good. We'd really like to get the boon that gives us a Will-O-Wisp. And we also have two new events as well for today. So first of all is Kintsugi, trash a card from your hand. If you've gained a gold this game, gain a card costing up to two more than the trashed card. So at the start it just trashes a card, but then it turns into a remodeler. But only after you've gained a gold, so you can't do it early on. And then we have a mass costs two. If you have no action cards in play, gain an action costing up to five. So this is a little bit like Alms, but it goes all the way up to five, you know, in, in the sense that you're really going to use it early on, but it turns itself off extremely quickly. Normally, like it is fairly typical that you buy two five costs in the opening and then you never have the opportunity to play this again, right? Like, but you know, getting a five cost for only two coins is quite incredible. So, a mass really shakes up the opening more than anything else. And speaking of shaking up the openings, what can we use it for here? Well, we do have a coffer so we could actually hit five naturally anyway but you know we would rather use a mass instead and save this because we might be able to get something like artisan now our village is native village we could get something like messenger and give each player a native village or something um i did want to get a will-o-wisp i think it's maybe a little bit too early for a fool straight away um we could also just like trash an estate but I think it'd be better to get something maybe a magnate immediately actually isn't bad so i think that might be what i do um i'm gonna start off with a magnate which is very weird but that is what i'm gonna do but you know we've got a lucky coin to give us a lot of silvers and with a three i might actually start by just trashing the state there we go i think that's a good opener um it would be nice if there was another trasher but there isn't um do I want to play this lucky coin? I'm actually not sure I do. I think I'm just going to trash another estate. And we have massively over afforded. Um, you know, what have we got here? Five, six, seven. We actually have eight in hand. If we don't play the lucky coin, we have seven. You know, we could get a rice or a king's court. But I think an artisan early on would be quite nice. And here, we could actually get another artisan because of our coffer. I'm actually going to do that. So I'm not really sure what I'm leading to here. here. Um, ooh, gain a Will-O-Wisp from Sacred Grove. I actually didn't need Fool at all. That was very silly of me. But we've got our Will-O-Wisp that we can use for rice. I'm actually going to take a native village and top deck it because I think I'm going to have Magnate next turn. Um, and here with three... Okay, we can ignore Fool now. I'm going to trash the estate. Yeah, here we go. We did get Magnate. 
So I can native village, put a card that's a copper, draw two, and then artisan something. Maybe more bakers, they seem nice. Um, I probably just want to kintsugi my lucky coin. I actually don't want a lot of silvers, so... Oh, well, it was an heirloom for rice, thinking about it. Well, never mind, that doesn't matter. Uh, I did get the native village. Well, let's set aside another copper. It's kind of like trashing, but not really. Um, I do have two artisans here. I'm only going to get to play one, but that is fine. Messenger only works in the buy phase, and that's okay. So, hard AI is getting a bunch of gardens here, which, I mean, I don't think it's going to be good enough, but we can try. Um, the drawing is really, really hard here, actually. I might just go for lots of bakers, thinking about it. Um, and I do want to show off rice, so we're going to go with that. Um, wait, I ended up with the gardens. Oh, okay. Uh, they bought a messenger and gave me a gardens instead. Well, you know what, that's fine. Um, do I want to get a gold here? Ooh, if I get a gold, that turns on Kintsugi, so let's do that. I'm going to discard three, gain a gold. I can't remember if I actually played a mass. What does this do? Plus one card. Yep. And I don't get the forest gift. Gift. How did you get 23 money this turn? And you bought all those king's courts. Hold on. How did you get so much money? Because you king's courted magnate and you drew a million cards. Interesting. Uh, meanwhile, my magnate is completely awful, but I should get a native village next turn, so I'll probably top deck this magnate. Um, so let's do that. I didn't, but I still get to draw reasonably anyway. Um, I guess had I got really lucky in colliding two king's courts, or maybe they just built their deck that way. So this rice, unfortunately I couldn't play the spirit, it only gives me two which is not that great for a rice, unfortunately. Um, eight and two coins. All the gardens getting bought. I could, like, messenger more gardens, but I'd rather have the gardens. But actually, no, I don't want the gardens. I'd rather beat it on, like, a province deck. Mm, maybe Hard AI is doing something with King's Court and buys from, like, Sacred Grove and all that. Now, I'm not really sure how to play this. I guess I should probably get a King's Court, because I have, like, bakers and so on to be a village. I don't really need native village to be my own village, that was a bit silly. I was sort of hoping I'd get some sort of draw thing with rice going, but it seems like it's quite hard to draw here. I think I get to put aside... Well, you know what, maybe that's fine. Um, I don't really want to trigger this shuffle. Or do I? I think I will, and I'm actually going to gain and put back a native village. Um, and then I'll gain another King's Court, although that did miss the shuffle there. This is okay, and I actually have a bunch of the coppers in hand, so what I can do is I can get these cards, and I can draw five, look at that. And then I can King's Court the Will-O-Wisp to draw more. Aha, and then I get to Artisan this. Um, that means I get to put a magnate in my hand to draw, and also like a baker, and maybe something like Sacred Grove will work. Yes, I was got a fate card, so I would like that. Um, and I even got to play a native village. Sacred Grove gave me a silver, it's not quite what I want. I get to put something on top of my deck. It would be nice to have like a spare king's court, but unfortunately that doesn't work here. Um, what do I want for next turn? Probably a magnate on my deck. And now the rice gives me four, so this is a pretty good rice now. Um, hmm, I get to take both of these, that's quite nice. Um, and potentially another rice. I could Kintsugi a Gardens. Uh, hmm. Maybe I still want another something like Native Village, just in case. I don't think it's safe to play the Magnate here. I think I should play the Sacred Grove. It makes the rice a little bit better as well. 
Um, maybe the gardens are better. I'm not sure. Um, and with three, well, I have six coffers. I could do better than three. Um, I could kintsugi the magnate into another ice, I guess. Maybe I didn't want to get rid of that magnate, but this is what I've done. Uh, and the game is over somehow, because all the bakers got bought. Well, that was very silly of me. Um, I keep getting caught out by three piles. <laughs> From the bot, I am paying no attention at all. Um, but, you know, my deck was starting to get good, I suppose. Um, anyway, that was uh, that kingdom. I think I forgot to use a mass there. Or well, it just wasn't a great board for it, but, I mean, you sort of understand how that works. Um... Yeah, the engine was better than I thought, actually. I thought the King's Court was going to be very difficult. There wasn't really much in the way of trashing. I guess it was a very it was a very spiky deck, um, up and downs, really, due to the King's Court. But anyway, there you go. You can sort of see how Rice works and stuff like Kintsugi. That was sort of really just here to demonstrate stuff. Anyway, that's it for the previews. Now, I believe on Saturday, literally the next day, it's going to go live on the Templegate Games app on Steam and mobile. Not really too sure what's happening with Dominion.games. I think as soon as the rule book goes up, they're going to give people access to like the playtesting server, but pointing at the live database or something. I'm not really 100% sure, but eventually like that'll be available on Dominion.games as well. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, and yeah, I hope you look forward to seeing the rest of the Rising Sun cards. Thank you for watching.